Hi everybody, I'm Danny Dancer. I'm the social studies educator here at Children's Museum Houston. And right now at the museum, we are celebrating our Seeing is Believing Wonder Week, showcasing our exhibit Sights Unseen. So here in Junction, we are actually making cellophane kaleidoscopes. Now I have to admit, a real kaleidoscope has mirrors inside of it so that when you hold it up to the light and you turn it, you see different patterns emerge. We're not actually going to use mirrors as a part of ours, so we're not going to see those different patterns, but we are going to use cellophane in different colors, and when these colors actually cross over each other, we can sometimes get some different colors to appear, especially when we shine a light through it. So this is actually what we're using here at the museum. Now, I'm going to show you all of the materials and then let you know for those trying this at home, some alternatives, some different things you can use, but we are just using a paper cup. You can use styrofoam, just any small cup that you'll be able to cut off the end of uh, or poke a hole into. We have a paper plate. This one's pretty small, just a six inch paper plate. You can use a bigger one, no big deal. And then we have different colors of cellophane. Now you can find this at the store because it's used to like wrap gifts in really fancy schmancy ways. Um, but if you don't have that, you can actually take something like a clear plastic lid. Like if you had um, a food container that had a clear plastic lid, you can cut that out and then using permanent markers, you can color different colors on that piece of clear plastic and it'll have the same effect. So that's something that you might have at home if you don't have or want to go get cellophane. But the important thing is that it's a plastic material, it has some color to it and you can see through it. So to do this kaleidoscope activity, we are going to first take our, our cup Take the open end of the cup and center it on your paper plate and then we're just going to trace around the edge. Now we want to cut out this circle that we've just made. Cut just inside the line because we actually want it to be the same size as this cup. Now if you need to, please make sure you have an adult's help with this. Don't just poke the scissors through, just like that. All right, now we're gonna take some of our pieces of cellophane or our clear plastic that we have colored, and we're gonna place them over this hole, but we're gonna have the colors sort of overlap in some different ways. So we wanna have some spots where we have, for example, red and yellow mixing, some where it's yellow and blue, some where it's red and blue, and then some spot in the middle where all three of those actually all mix together, and then you can just tape those in place. Next, take your paper cup and we're gonna carefully poke a hole through the top. That's gonna be the part that we look through. So it doesn't have to be super big. If you have a pencil or a paper clip, you can just go ahead and poke that through the paper clip. You can just widen it a little bit. If you are using scissors, make sure you have an adult help you with this step. Now we're gonna take our cup and put it back over that original circle that we made and we are going to tape that in place so that it's sealed all around the edges. And this is what it looks like when it is done. Now if you want, because I'm just using plain old paper plates and cups, you can make this a little cooler looking by decorating the outside of your cup or you can decorate this side of your paper plate with markers or stickers or whatever you'd like. But then the final step is you're gonna actually look through this hole here and you wanna aim it at a bright light, not the sun, we don't wanna quite that bright, but like looking up at a light bulb or something like that, looking through here, you're you're gonna get to see all sorts of different colors. And as you turn it, we're not gonna see those patterns like we might in a kaleidoscope because we don't have the mirrors, but we'll notice that the different colors are gonna move. So it's gonna change how what we are looking at actually appears to our eyes. So that is our cellophane kaleidoscope. I hope you have fun making this and especially have fun experimenting with it and seeing the world in all sorts of different colors. And in the meantime, have a great week and we will see you all soon. Bye.